Okay, so a single turn, okay, single turn circular coil has resistance of 10 ohm. So this is the R, yeah, this is the R. And the area of the plane is 5 cm square. Okay, this is the A. Okay, this is the area. Now, it moves towards the the coil moves towards the north pole of the magnet. Bar magnet as shown in the figure. So yeah, this is the coil. Uh, this is the coil moving towards the bar magnet. Uh, and, and this is the observer. Okay. And the average, if the average rate of change of magnetic flux density, oh, rate of change of magnetic flux density, uh, this is the, uh, which is uh, through the plane of the coil is 0 0.5 tesla per second. Uh, this is the magnetic flux density, rate of change of magnetic flux density is dB dt. Okay, magnetic flux density, magnetic flux density is B. Uh, determine the induced current induced current in the coil and also the direction state the direction of the induced current observed by the observer okay uh, this is the important uh, the observed by the observer in the figure okay so the information uh, is already written here okay the turns the resistance area rate of change of magnetic flux density and to find the induced current and also the direction of induced current okay and the area is cm square remember centimeter square so you need to change to si unit okay centi square is negative 4 exponent negative 4 okay let's find the direction first so um, okay coil moving towards the magnet okay so we know that uh, the magnetic field coming up from north okay uh, this is the original magnetic field. Uh, the coil, this is the coil moving towards the magnet. Uh, so, um, so what happened is, uh, when moving towards the magnet, uh, towards the magnet, it try to repel. It try to repel. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, it was produced the same pole. Yeah? North, north, it will repel. And this is the south. Okay. Uh, when towards it try to repel by producing the same pole north north okay so here there will be uh, induced magnetic field okay uh, here got another induced magnetic field uh, okay north south uh, magnetic field coming up from north entering the south okay so from observer view what we see is the magnetic field is going into the plane Uh, this is the induced magnetic field going into the plane and then we use our right hand grip rule okay our right hand grip rule remember uh, the thumb is the magnetic field uh, and, uh, and then the cut the finger is the current okay uh, so magnetic field going into the plane our thumb magnetic field going into the plane so the current is clockwise our current is clockwise. Okay. So our induced current is clockwise. So we got our direction of induced current. Okay. Now, uh, now to find the induced uh, magnitude of induced current, first of all, we need to find the induced EMF. Okay. So. Based on the information, we saw that the area is constant, the magnetic field is changing. So the formula is negative N A D B D T. Okay, negative N A D B D T. So we substitute all the information. N is 1, A is a 5, negative 4, uh, D B D T is 0 0.50. Okay, and then finally we get um, negative 2.5 exponent uh, negative 4 volts. Okay, so here you see there is a negative sign. Actually, the negative sign can be neglected. Can neglect the negative sign because we just want the magnitude. We just want the magnitude. 
So now the next step is find the induced EM, uh, induced current E equal to I R. Okay, E equal to I R. So uh, put in substitute in our information for induced EMF. Okay, and then the resistance. So finally, we get our induced current, which is 2.5 exponent, negative 5 ampere. Okay, and write the direction beside, clockwise, uh, as observed by the observer. Thank you.